so after all the presentations, announcements, and craziness of CES 2020, I've come to the conclusion. This year, we've reached peak 4K TV technology. What? Let's pull off this band-aid and talk about the pain. And then we're going to rise above this. Peak 4K TV. What do I mean? When I say peak 4K, peak, I don't mean this is the maximum number of people who will ever buy 4K and the volume is just going to decline from there. That's a different definition of peak. Peak 4K TV technology means this is the best picture quality specs that you will ever get out of a 4K TV moving forward. And why do I say that? Let's start with the harbinger <laughs> of peak TV anything, the infamous Panasonic. Back in 2013, didn't Panasonic release an amazing plasma, the PZT65 or something like that? It was the best plasma ever released. And it pretty much marked the end of the plasma TV era. And probably one of the best TVs ever made, period. And the beginning of the OLED era. Yeah, good times, right? The Panasonic PZT65 remains a collector's item today. It was the only plasma to really beat the Kuro, right? Okay, this year at CES 2020, Panasonic did it again. They released the HZ2000. This will be the best that LG's OLED will ever see. And I mean the LG OLED panel, the W OLED that everyone's been using. Why do I say that? For Panasonic to improve the performance of the LG RAW OLED panel, it had to pull it apart, use its own chips, add a special cooling system because it's heating up the brightness to unbelievable heights, over 900 nits on an OLED that's not supposed to handle that much. So you have to have a special cooling system or it will burn out, burn in like crazy. Panasonic did it. It's like, for car enthusiasts, taking a Honda Civic, adding an intercooler, a turbocharger, and just boosting it to the point of explosion. And that's what you have with this HZ2000. There's no further improvements to be had for this OLED panel. It's so, it's like brute forcing it into advanced technology because LG Display, well, frankly, they've given up. They're just trying to keep up with production. Forget any R&D that LG has left to do for the OLED that it has in production. It just wants to make more of it, and it can't even do that. LG is flat broke, and LG Display, not LG Electronics. LG Display barely is able to invest in its own factories to make more OLEDs for everybody else. Konka is in line, Skyworth is in line, Vizio is now in line. It cannot keep up with production and there's a huge shortage of 77 inch sizes. All of those looking for really cheap OLEDs this year, like I said before, you can forget it. Um, LG just can't keep up with production. So you can for also forget any real improvement to the OLED panel itself other than Panasonic. They are an aftermarket company basically. They just took the panel and did something magical to it. So peak 4K TV is represented by the HZ2000. This is it. This will be the best 4K TV ever made. And why do I say that? Why would Panasonic invest further than what they did already with 4K this year? Next year, it's all 8K. In looking at the TVs and all the flagships being announced this year at CES 2020, right? From the displays, this year, most of the flagships from everyone were 8K. Now there were some 4K sprinkled in, but next year, there will be no 4K at all. And Panasonic's not stupid. This is their last hurrah. Next year, if they don't have an 8K product 
they'll be too far behind to catch up. Samsung's already called it a year, right? You saw my last video where Samsung is not even working on 4K. They've moved on. All their technology that was flagship last year in the 4K, they've pulled it out, put it into 8K, leaving behind nothing, an empty, bare shelf. As far as Samsung is concerned, their 4K TV lineup is bare bones. All the good tech moved to 8K. Sony hasn't invested in the 4K TV since forever, right? For the last two years now, 2019 was a disappointment. 2020, same as last year. Sony is focused on getting their 8K out, reducing the price of their micro LED products. They are focused on getting 8K to market next year or more 8K to market next year. This year, just a little bit of dusting of their 2019 models. The only real companies that are trying to push 4K technology is TCL, Hisense, and Vizio, but they're not pushing it beyond OLED. They're just trying to catch up to OLED. You hear that? Catching up to OLED. Well, OLED is already here. As far as 4K is concerned, if you want to get the best that 4K has to offer, you might as well get an OLED because OLED cannot get any better for 4K. LG did nothing this year. And they did nothing last year other than add HDMI 2.1. LG C9, C10, pretty much same good quality TV with HDMI 2.1. If you wanna get the best 4K TV this year, get yourself the HZ2000 Panasonic if you can get it in North America. Obviously it's not for sale here. So Europeans have a big, they love it. In America, get yourself an LG C9 if it's on sale. If they're sold out because people realize we've reached peak 4K technology, then get a C10, but that's it. Samsung is no longer an option unless you get a Q90R. The Q90 this year, well, let me take it back. Samsung is not an option unless you get a 2019 Q90. The 2020 Q90 does not have the same specs and the same high performance as last year. You saw my earlier video about that, so I won't rehash it, but they've bailed on 4K. That leaves the 4K flagship bare. All that's there is OLED. End of story. If you wait around for Mini LED, if you wait around for TCL's Vidrian Mini LED, there's no guarantee that it will be 4K. It may just end up being 8K. So for all of you 4K enthusiasts who are complaining that, oh, there's no 8K material, I'll just get 4K TV, you're really stuck with mid-tier level TVs. Your flagship choices are just OLED or nothing. So in the context of consumer buying this year, how does it affect you? It really only affects people looking for a flagship 4K TV, meaning you want to buy the best 4K TV, OLED, whether it's the Panasonic HZ2000 or the LG C9 or C10. Any of those three TVs will get you the best that 4K has to offer, period. And if burn-in is a fear, get it with an extended warranty. Best Buy covers the burn-in. Costco has a cheaper extended warranty, but there's debate as to how easy it is to get them to cover burn-in. Nevertheless, OLED is peak 4K technology in terms of quality, picture, all that great stuff. If you want to go non-OLED, you want to go into the LCD arena, Samsung hit their peak last year. Get yourself a Q90R. Now, if you want to wait around to see if TCL releases their Vidrian Mini LED in 4K, that may be worth waiting for. But if it ends up being almost as expensive as OLED, well, we're back to getting an OLED anyway. Remember, both TCL and Hisense are trying to be OLED. They're not trying to be better than OLED. So you're just waiting around for someone trying to be OLED. And that's kind of pointless. Yes, they'll be cheaper, but that's not the point. If you're going flagship, call it a day, get an OLED. Now for everyone else, you're looking mid-tier, you're thinking $1,500, $1,000. Okay, it may be worth waiting to see what they do with the Vidrian 8 series. Will it come out at $1,500 for 4K, 5,000 uh, dimming zones, right? Yeah, it'll be worth waiting for it. What do you guys think? Is this a disappointment to you or is this exciting to you? Because finally, trickle down theory, 
Oh, wait a minute, the trickle-down theory didn't work at all. Samsung took its ball of technology and walked off with it into the 8K horizon, right? As well as Sony. All that's left is trickle down from TCL and Hisense. Is that a disappointment for you guys who are Sony and Samsung fanboys? I know I'm disappointed. And as far as LG is concerned, yeah, it's still OLED. Anyway, let me know what you think. And until next time, stop the FOMO.